Hello guys and welcome to episode 58 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Von Karsteins on very hard difficulty. This is Mortal Empires and we are going for world domination and today it starts by beating back the Warherds of Chaos. Now I believe there are two armies here near Folksgrad and we need to take those out. So let's head in that direction probably with Vlad first since I think he has a stronger army. Uh, we will not raise some dead. Let's get a Regiment of Renown. Let's get the Dire Pack. I think the Dire Pack will be useful against things like Ungol Raiders. So that's what we're going to do. And then we will start to move towards Volksgrad with the hope of bumping into... There we go. That army. Now, this is a really easy auto-resolve for me. And I think their forces would just get wrecked by us anyway. So I think I'm actually going to take the auto-resolve. That's crazy. And we'll take the replenishment afterwards. Okay, well that's one army down. I didn't expect it to be that easy. Uh, but what we are going to do is now attack the second army. And this one should be a lot less simple. Oh shit. Why is this bringing in two armies? Was there a second army I didn't see? Either way, we can just decline this attack and take them on individually. So we'll probably try to do that. But that has revealed the second army. So I can actually reinforce myself with Isabella. And that should make things a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do. I didn't realise they had four armies. I thought another army had moved away. I need her to be in the right position. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Here goes the big battle. Now the initial forces we can take out quite easily. My Blood Knights need to get onto these Minotaurs and the Giants and the Saigors. That's most important. The second army is also pretty scary. Um, there's a lot of Minotaurs with shields. And those are going to be difficult for my Blood Knights to kill. Hmm. Interesting. Can we see what the map is like? I'm going to want to keep them away from trees. Thankfully, there's not many trees. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and fight this on the battle map. We will control the large army. Uh, when I get all the, the blood knights together, it's going to be insane. Actually, I don't think uh, Isabella has any blood knights, does she? So, hmm. I'm going to be relying on the blood knights in Vlad's army quite a bit. I'm going to have to remember that. Especially to take out the minotaurs in the second army. So Goreherd is their mainline infantry, which is fine because our graveguard should wreck them. I think what I'm going to do here is just engage the main army straight away. And try and do as much damage as possible before the reinforcements arrive. Though saying that, they're all starting to the far right. They've definitely improved the AI in terms of their starting positions. I'm not sure when they did that, but yeah, it's definitely better. Okay, so we will just move over to the right then and engage them regardless. This might be a bad idea because the reinforcements are coming in right next to us and so we might get overwhelmed, but a lot of Isabella's forces are flying units anyway and Isabella herself is flying, so it shouldn't take them too long to get over here. Uh, Vlad can just chill out on the right flank. What I'm going to do is probably just group these guys into a control group and charge. Keep the flying units separate. And all the Blood Knights, I think I'll keep on like one flank because it seems as though a lot of their Minotaurs and Giants are all on the left side. It might suck for the Cygors, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, let's go ahead and start the deployment, start the battle. They're basically standing in the only trees available, which kind of sucks. I'm hoping that they come towards me a little bit. Because I don't really want to fight them in those trees if I can help it. This is kind of awkward. Let's just line up like so. And maybe I can fight them from here. But one thing we are going to have to do is make sure that my reinforcements are flying over here as soon as possible. So let's uh, grab... One of those. 
really hard to select them when they are still coming in. Okay, I think that's all. And the Saigors, they are starting to throw their rocks. That's going to really hurt. Yeah, I think we just need to start this engagement. Now that they've grouped up, I think it's fine. Let's go. We need to choose where we want to use our Blood Knights, which I think is just on the left. There's a lot of Minotaurs, Giants and stuff down here. Okay, cool. One thing I am thinking is maybe I should have the gu these guys not in a group. And then have them a bit closer together. Let's just ungroup these lot. Because I don't want them to spread out too much, otherwise the invocations become a bit useless. I'm going to make it so that they are closer. And then we can sort of charge them towards one unit or another. That's fine. Ooh, that's not good. The Saigor's attacking my Blood Knights. I think I'm just going to pull them back. I want to. I want them to in commit into. In oh, ouch! An engagement. That is not good, though. Christ. Goodbye, Blood Knights. They got smashed by those Saigors. That is not good at all. And I think more shots are coming in here onto these guys. This is really not good. They aren't committing to an engagement. Which is what I need them to do. And I need to get some units to attack their Saigors. Maybe it's worth me just throwing the Vargeist at them. Although I'm pretty sure Vargeist will beat any of my flying units in melee combat. So that's kind of awkward. Anyway, uh, we are going to have to be careful of these Minotaurs. I might just splinter off one unit of Blood Knights to get involved so that I can engage those. And I am just going to charge on this side, I think. We can't hold back. Then we're just going to take so much damage. The only issue with doing that is if they get surrounded, we are kind of screwed. Okay. Vlad's kind of just being pounded quite badly. Uh, we will send him back into the fray, I think. Let's take away the melee attack from that lord. Okay. And what's happening over here? Alright, my Vargorfs are nearly arrived. That's good. And all my flying units are in position. Oh, it's just so annoying that they aren't committing. I really need them to. Oh, again! Oh, it's just disgusting. Just the damage, man. Oh, it's, oh, it's not good. It's not good. Let's hit the Minotaurs with shields with Vlad. And I'll just buff these guys up slightly. Alright. Now I'll have to do. Although, wow, my Blood Knight's taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Ouch. We've done a lot of damage, but we've taken a lot of damage. Uh, maybe we just need to employ the tactic of bunching all of our forces up. And hoping that they engage us sooner than later. Pretty important. Uh, let's have these lot take off. God, those Slygors still firing. We've got a terror guy up his ass. God damn. Okay, I've got all these flying units just hanging back because I want to swarm into like one of these melees at some point. Huh. <laughs> I'm really not enjoying this battle, guys, as you can probably tell. It's not gone to plan at all. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's send one of these units in to engage those mining tours with shields. Vlad's doing a good job at the moment, but I need he needs a little bit of help there. Um, then we will probably get these lot to charge into the, not the best to go ahead, but the Minotaurs. And try and hold those. Okay, as for Isabella, she needs to come in and get involved as well, so let's just have her 
fly on over. This is good. Okay, we've kind of recovered. <laughs> Ouch. Um, in terms of our flying units here. And the best thing really is going to be a big invocation to start healing up all of these damaged units. What I'm going to try and do with these three Blood Knights is actually get them all the way around the right side now. I'll smash into the best of go ahead if I need to. Actually, that's a good plan for my units here. We'll have the Mortis engine charge on in. That's important. And the rest of my infantry will come over eventually, but... Yeah, let's make sure that these three Blood Knights are going into this engagement sooner than later. As for our Terror Geist, uh, that can come on down. It can smash into this engagement. I might even get my Vargeist involved there as well. Um, so yeah, we'll just smash from one side to the other and just keep up the invocations. I think that's the best bet. Just create the death ball, get the Mortis engine involved. Like, there is no chance then. Okay, that's good. Five seconds until I can use an invocation. Actually, Isabella can use one, so let's do that. And she can use the uh, magical animus. That's good. Uh, let's take away the melee attack from the giant. And as soon as Vlad can do it as well, I will. Although they can only they only have like a limited amount of regeneration, right? The Blood Knights need to continue that engagement. I'm going to take off with the flying forces again. Okay, let's just continue pushing through. And these Blood Knights can now charge into the Saigor here. Okay, good. We're getting there. Now this is a massive target for the Saigors, but they're not firing at the Saigors, or firing at that. Or at least the Saigors aren't. So that's good. So we'll try and get the Blood Knights to get the job done. In the meantime, we do need to make sure that I'm using all of the arcane conduits that I have. Uh, so that I can afford more invocations. Uh, because this group needs to stay alive. And we'll use this invocation on the Blood Knights. Blood Knights. Okay. Well, I would, but the Blood Knights are in trouble, so let's go help them. Uh, Vlad, get that invocation going, please. Lovely. Alright, so we are kind of surrounded here, but this is a good thing. Uh, although my Terror guy's not involved. Uh, let's fire some breath into these guys. My other Terror Geist is on the floor, that is fine. As for my Var Geist, I'll get these guys to actually chase down some of the ranged forces. I think that's a good idea since they're just going to be peppering us otherwise. Okay, that's good. Um, then these three units of Blood Knights now need to go to these Saigors. That is fine, whilst the flying units keep them pinned down. Good, okay, not bad. Um, this Terror Geist can now come down into this engagement. And if we can afford one, we should do another invocation soon. Okay, that's good. Just need to keep chasing down those Saigors. As for these lot, I think I need to focus on these Ungor Raiders over here. But just in general, we're doing well. I haven't taken that many losses, and we still have all of these guys ready to go. Uh, so let's just group these up. Yeah, let's not. Let's just charge on in. Actually, if we group small like that and then charge in, they should help us out evenly. As for these vampires, I should actually be using those. Let's just hit one of the Saigors and this one as well. It's a bit embarrassing. Shouldn't have had them sat there for so long. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Um, these uh, dire pack can get involved with the Ungor Raiders and pushing them back. Good. And if we can get another invocation off, we should on this area. Lovely. Uh, these Blood Knights are safe doing what they are doing. Now it's just a matter of crushing the next Saigor and the Ungor Raiders and so on. So let's just charge on in. OK, 
Okay, that's that one leaving. We will try and kill it off if we can. I think my vampires are more or less doing the job there, which is good. We've taken out that one. Let's go take out the other one now. And that is a chain route. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Not the cleanest battle by a long shot. Uh, but we have killed off a lot of their forces, which is good. Just going to make sure that I run them down with everything we got. Trouble is, they are very fast, so it's unlikely we're going to catch too many of them. Phew. That was uh, pretty crazy. I think bunching up there definitely saved my ass, or at least saved me from losing any units. But we'll leave it there for the close victory. I would have waited for the invocation to finish, but I'm a bit worried about the game crashing. Um, so yeah, we did win. Not the best victory in terms of actually killing them off, but uh, there we go. I think Isabella's army is more or less fine, so she can probably chase down the remaining forces and kill them off. It could have been played a bit better, I think. But it caught me out the way that, like, I couldn't engage their Cygors. I really expected to be able to get my Blood Knights onto them sooner, but they just didn't commit to the engagement like I thought they would. And then it meant I I couldn't... Like, their line was too wide because it was two armies worth. It was really, really awkward battle. At least we won. And I didn't lose any units. <laughs> could have been worse. Let's just put it that way. And they spread out, which is nice. Um, but Isabella's not actually in range to follow, so that kind of sucks, whereas Vlad is. I feel like if I attack with Vlad, I'm going to have to actually play out the battle. And it would leave him overextended. I think best bet is probably just to march back to Prague. I'm going to do that. There we go. Let me get loads of replenishment. That's way more worth it than letting my armies be picked off. Now since we are sitting here in Prague, we may as well upgrade it while we can. I'm probably going to get rid of this charnel pit now. And we'll replace that with uh, something... Lord Ostrosk is leveling up, which is nice, and I think Bethilda can move into Vlad's army. Although, actually, we got the Dire Pack now, didn't we? So, Bethilda's not needed, unless... Oh, we can block the army, so that would be a good idea. Let's use Bethilda for that, in the meantime. Okay, what about Wormund? Wormund's just taken Erengrad. I think I'm probably going to leave him here for... A quite a long amount of time, honestly. Uh, just to get that public order going and the vampiric corruption up before pushing him on to the Varg provinces. So we'll go and sit in Zushink and uh, defend from there. Cool. Don't need to move our hero. We have assessment upgrade available, but I'm not going to spend my cash on these settlements since they all have level 3 walls. Could upgrade at Salzenmund. Could also upgrade at Marienburg. But I'm not going to. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save the cash for when I need it to upgrade uh, these provinces on the edge here. That is fine. So we may as well hold on to the cash for now. And we'll move on to the next turn. So that was quite eventful. Uh, we did actually destroy one of the war herds entirely, which was good, uh, by the auto resolve. And then we did a lot of damage to the other two. So now there's a good chance, if they hang about, that we can kill them off. I hope. 
they start running away from us and being awkward, that's going to just get frustrating. Okay, here's Sothoriel. Where's he going to go? Right, he's moving quite slowly westward. I'm just going to fast forward through Harganus turn. I don't need to see what they're up to. I mean, yeah, they might take more lands up north, but it's fine for now. I mean, in the long run, I only need to get rid of my enemies, right? So what I could do is just raise all the settlements of Norska and Varg and then let... Arganeth take the rest and then attack the greenskins, raise their lands because it's really difficult to hold on to the lands in the north and they don't have walls on any of the settlements, it's just really awkward probably should have watched what the hunters of Kianos were doing, whoops oh well, savage blow is now a thing uh, let's see where this army went. Oh, is it just out of range? Or is it just in range? I hope it's just in range. Just in range. Nice. That's good. And what we'll do is probably just zoom down to this skull reef and then into Languil. Let's level him up. And we'll continue with Dark Pact for now. Uh, what about these armies? I feel like that's going to be just out of range. Yeah, how awkward is that? But we can catch this army. This is Ram. They only have one Saigor. We definitely need Vlad's army to take on Saigors and Minotaurs, so I think we're going to use him here. Okay. And that's actually going to be two armies. Oh. Here we go again. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Oh, that's awkward. I didn't expect their armies to be so close together. Now, it says we should win still, but I don't trust it after that last battle. It was too close. Uh, do I retreat? I mean, Isabella, you would be in range with a... fast, like, march stance. We'll retreat for now. If I still have enough movement to reinforce, then I'll get Isabella into range. Yeah, Isabella's going to easily get into range. That's fine. So we'll bring her down here. And again, we'll 1v2 these guys. That's good. Okay, much better. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully better than the last. In theory, I can wipe out two armies here. That's best case. Uh, worst case, they slip away with like half their forces again. I've just got to find a way to engage their infantry so that my blood knights can cleanly engage the minotaurs and the Saigor, but what they're really good at is because the minotaurs want to attack the grave guard they end up merging them and it's really really awkward and once again what's the bet they're going to just deploy here and my reinforcement is going to take a mile or like take ages to get to where I want to be I mean if they're going to be together we may as well get our army together right because we've we took a ton of Saigor fire last time anyway so yeah I think we'll just pull back this time I'll take it easy get the grave guard together and then we'll push in together uh, rather than yeah we're going to do that this may take a little bit longer, but 
at least I can get my units to the front line. And we'll gamble for more wins, and I will start the deployment, start the battle. Lovely. Okay, cool. I just speed it up so we get all the units online, and then we'll start pushing towards them. Okay, lovely. So, let's grab all of my Grave Guard. Put them in one group. Quite a confined group, like so. Uh, Vlag can be part of that group. Uh, we should also have my Vampires be part of that group, like Emmanuel and Wendrick should definitely be part of that group, even though they're on Hellsteeds. Okay. Then we got these lot. They can be in a group. Uh, may as well have the Mortis Engine in this group. In group one, that is. I need my Vargolfs in group one. Uh, let's speed this up. Then the Blood Knights can chill behind for the time being. Isabella may as well be in group one as well. Okay, good. So these lot are all group one. They are going to be in a locked control group. Let's just unlock it quick until those guys get into position. And then we shall lock it. Okay, good. The reason I've got this lady separate is because she's like purely for magic purposes. Okay, cool. Alright, time for group one to just march up towards them. Might take quite a lot of damage into the graveyard with the Cygors, but it's as good as it gets. I don't want them to start throwing up my Blood Knights again. That really sucked. Okay, <laughs> here it comes already. Ouch. Let's have these three to the right, these three to the left. That makes more sense. A lot easier to keep track of. So many flying units. Oh, they are still firing at my Blood Knights, aren't they? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so annoying. It's really, really irritating. <laughs> They're so blooming accurate as well. Like snipers with those rounds. Alright, let's keep going. We just need to get right up into the face of them. Okay, lovely. I think my vampire took a rock to the face then. I would use this lady for magic, but I don't think I will because I need to save it for invocations if things go a bit crazy. Now let's just engage on this side. I think I'm just going to engage like this. This is fine. Yeah, because look at them all like bunched up on that side. That's good. Alright. I think I'm just going to wait until the units will engage, and then we'll just commit after that. Like, I could just... I think I can just get all of these guys to slam into the Cygors, for example. Just try and take them out. I've got a couple of Terror guys in there. Yeah, that's good. Keep all of these lot engaged. I'll hit them with an invocation now. Because they are going to be surrounded. And here comes all my infantry getting involved. Okay, good. Alright, now... We need to engage on the other side. But again, they're not committing. Look at this. Look, like Half their force just isn't involved in this fight. It's really weird. Uh, let's take out this giant with these blood knights. That's fine. Now we'll have Isabella do an invocation up on this end. And some of these forces are going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Um, as for this giant, I may as well have the Graveguard that are here 
start to come down into this engagement so that the Blood Knights have a cleaner hit onto the giant. Okay, what about these flying units? We're good for now, aren't we? Alright, let's now charge back down into this Cygorus on its own again. I think that's with I selected wrong units. Oops. I saw these lot who will smash down like so. Uh, my blood knights need to kill the giant, that's fine. Cygors are dead, that's good. Let's kill that Cygor, please. Okay, very nice. Now fly away after he's dead. Once again, they're not committing. We are the new order. I'm gonna have my Please vampires them. try and chase down some Please of these Ungor raiders. So that's the second Saigor dead. So what I'm gonna do now is probably charge all of Group One into these lot, all of Group Two into these lot. Uh, we'll have the Blood Knights continue the engagement against the giant, and then we'll do an invocation. <coughs> I think that's the best way to deal with this because we are taking quite a lot of damage and also I can then use the magical animus oh, what's the unit here or oh, the sternsman <laughs> rip <laughs> Right, we're gonna just smash in here. Let's try and save Melissa. Okay, that's good. I should probably try and save uh, this unit as well if I can. The Sternsman. Do I have an invocation that I can use? I do. What about a magic animus? No, not yet. Okay, well, we killed the giant anyway, that's good. Um, let's have these Blood Knights break free. Uh, we pushed off these Minotaurs. Uh, the Bestigore herd's pretty dire. We don't really want to fight against that, so we'll avoid doing so. Um, oh, my dire pack ran down the Ungor Spearhead. Let's uh, kill these Ungor Raiders as well then. Um, I'll probably have my Fell Bats break off and start killing off these dudes. And we do need to have a bunch of Blood Knights now attack this Saigor, so let's go ahead and do that. Get any flying units that aren't engaged to engage the Saigor. Oh, we should probably take out this giant as well. Let's do that, okay. Right, now we charge back in here. That is fine. Is he running down these chaps? That is good. The dire pack's so good at like running down units that are running away. Right, let's have these three kill the Saigor. Uh, we need these lot to kill the giant. Oh, that's an entire Bestigore herd that got out there. Also, these Ungor raiders are escaping, which is not good. Let's try and kill off a few more, if we can catch them. Uh, meanwhile, I may as well be putting some invocations down. Where is my other lady? There she is. Oh, we've already used Arcane Conduit. Need one more. It is done. One power per ten seconds, apparently. With haste. Oh well, that'll do. Buff up those lot. Still chasing down these, which is good. We'll try and get this Bestigore herd as well. Just got to kill off as many as we can. He 
These fell bats are clean in the house. Yeah, we're out of wins. Right, let's uh, end the battle there for the decisive victory. And that is... Another... That was much better. <laughs> that was a decent battle. The first one was awful. That one was way cleaner. I almost lost a Sternsman, which was not good, but other than that, we were, we were fine. I think grouping up was definitely a decent idea. Look at the dire pack, though. Cleaning up with the 273 kills there. Very nice. What a bunch of fantastic battles we've had. Really happy with that. So... That will kill off a lot more units. It won't necessarily kill off the armies, but it stops them from replenishing as much. A little bit concerned about the army that was on its own off to one side. That is very nice indeed, and we get 7% back. It's good. Really good. I am going. Can Isabella chase him? No. And they march back. King of they can. I should probably should actually, right? We should probably march back into friendly territory once again for the replenishment. Saying that Isabella doesn't need to. Yeah, there's no way that they can defeat Isabella's army anyway. So we'll just have Isabella continue. Get up in their faces. And we'll have Vlad sort of move back so that he gets that replenishment. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and block the army here. And that was a success. That's good. That means that army won't be going anywhere. Or at least it, I think it has its movement uh, stopped by 50% or something. But anyway. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. Uh, so after what was an epic set of battles against the Beastmen, we are in a much better position here uh, than we were. We're going to have to keep an eye on Sithorial. But other than that, we are good for the north for the time being. That's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.